So this simulation that we're going to do is called Back to St Kilda. It's similar to, I don't know if you remember, the programme Castaway 2000 that was on television four years ago, where a group of people were put onto Tarasite, the South Harris, for a year. Now this is slightly different because if we read through here, you'll see. Um, it's the year 2015. The British have left St Kilda and they've demolished their buildings. So all that's left is the old black houses, the thatched houses, in a line above the bay. Some of them have still got roofs, but the majority have fallen apart. Right? Now, what's happened is that a rich guy from Canada has bought St Kilda. He wants to try an experiment in which 12 people are going to be selected to spend 12 years in St Kilda to create a new community, a, a new way of life, a, build homes, families, etc. Now, there's a list of applicants here on this side, 24 names, and you will be choosing the 12. Now, this Canadian guy has the idea that it's possible for people in the modern world to recreate a rural lifestyle even in a remote and inhospitable place. He wants to choose this dozen people and you are going to be choosing them for them in the two groups. So the question is, what you're going to do is how, who are you going to choose and also think of why you have chosen them and think as well of who would be useful for the scheme and who could also be potentially damaging or harmful for the scheme. Think also like why and how they would be useful. And also, there's more to life than just working. So pick a selection of people who would be good in social ways as well as in practical ways. Right? Uh, there's another thing, maybe a philosophical question to bear in mind. In a project such as this, is there going to be room for old men and old women and for wee children? Right? So, um, are you only going to go for people who are of working age or do you want the wisdom that goes with age? Uh, they're not only going to be working, as I said, so think of, how, of who the people are who will be good in a social and fun context. There's another point to be made is that some of these people are coming in pairs or couples or family groups. Now, you might not want everybody in the family, but you might be desperate for some. So bear in mind that families and relationships might not be willing to be broken up. Okay? Now, here are the people in the back, as you can see. Uh, these are the 24 applicants. Some of them here, uh, for instance, Dunukamach Suai comes, he and the kids come as a package. So that's, they would only be classed as one person if you wanted to take Dunukamach. The same with Sheonaj Vedach. If you want to challenge, the daughter comes free, so she's a bargain. So these are the people, here they are with their various skills and their various attributes. So now to sort you into groups, um, I see the two groups, are you happy where you are? Right, well there's no need I don't think to be moving anybody about. So bear these things in mind then and talk among yourselves and choose 12 people. Put yourselves into the position of being on this, uh, this trip, this project, right? And think, well, who are the ones that I would want to be with? You want to survive these 12 years. There is no contact with the outside world. Once the boat takes you there, you're left there with the things that you have brought with you, and the boat will leave. So there's no contact with the outside world. So who are the sort of people that you'd be wanting to be with? And that's basically it, now, if there are any questions. After having introduced the class to the simulation, Ian has handed out the worksheet with the character descriptions. Ian decides to go through the 24 characters one by one to make sure that all students understand the character descriptions.
the students now individually start reading the instructions and character descriptions. When the students have made a personal opinion of whom to choose from the 24 characters, they start the debate in their groups. <laughs> Groups make use of Ian to get explanations when needed. <laughs> The lesson will be continued the day after, so each group has to take notes on the decisions. The final part of the first lesson is a quick debriefing and a walkthrough of what to expect the following day. <laughs> In the next lesson, the students present the characters they have chosen and give reasons for their choices. Shema Stewart. Shema Stewart. Darwin. Mike. Shana Robinson. I guess Alistair. Mike Vrillen. Jane um, Cholach, so be Cholach and Cholach and Agassi, what are you? What's going on? I you so... I don't know you I you know, I don't know if you're a good I you know, you're a I you know, you're a good you so, how do you think this is a good Agnes Gonoch? Chief of Koch Groch Fat, Chief Benefit. The handout used in the simulation lesson can be downloaded from www.languages.dk slash methods. The material is available in eight languages. Right. So, it's available. 
Må jeg begynde? Ja, altså, okay. Jeg prøver at prøve at fisk. Ja, ja, ja. Og jeg kan ikke skynde Så har jeg sjældent for. Så har jeg sjældent mange sekunder, så jeg tror, at jeg kan skynde dig helt. Det er ikke. 